How's it going? As always, I'm here to unleash your full potential. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects of how do you deal with difficult clients? This has come up countless times over the 15 years that I've worked in customer service. And especially in optical, it can be challenging because when someone can't see out of their glasses, they can get really frustrated because it's affecting their daily life. And so I've seen a couple things that really help. And one of the things I would say just first off is don't be afraid of difficult clients or issues that come up because they're really opportunities for you to make a lifelong client. Because when you can fix their problem and help give them clear feedback, all of a sudden they have someone that's honest with them, that can fix their problems, and you might have a friend and a client for life. So one of the first things that I try to do when the difficult situation comes up is first listen to them. Now you have to sometimes listen deeply because the first thing out of their mouth might be a little bit angry, might be a little frustrated, but if you listen deeply enough, you can start to hear what they're really upset about. Sometimes they just need a place to vent and say, hey, this is not working for me, I'm frustrated, I paid money for this, it's affecting my daily life. And all of a sudden when you start listening to them, it might take them to a little bit to blow off steam and you gotta kinda put that, put that uh, armor on a little bit and let them talk. But once you listen deeply, you can start to uncover what their real challenge is. You mimic that back to them, let them know that you understand what the challenge is, and then you go to work as fast and as thoroughly as possible to fix their issue. I would also say be clear when you can fix an issue and when you can't. So people want honesty, it may frustrate them and make them mad in the moment, but at the end of the day, you're much better off giving them a clear answer than to kind of wish wash back and forth and then you lose trust completely. So first, listen deeply and then make sure you are honest with them, give them clear feedback about the timeline and what you're capable of doing for them and then three, go to work. As fast as possible, get the job done and make sure that you stay on top of it. Make sure you're communicating them with them the timeline. That makes a big difference. I had some great uh, wisdom from a, a friend of mine one time. He said, inform people are happy people. I think that's so true in customer service. You have to keep people in the loop or they start to wonder if you forgot about them or don't care or aren't working on the project. So those are some of the keys for me. And what I found once again, is that I, I, love, I love to face those challenges because many times in the end, they become my most loyal clients, even sometimes become friends because I go to bat for them and fix a problem that they were frustrated by. I listened deeply, I went to work, I was honest with them, I gave them that feedback, and then I kept them in the loop. And that is so important to building that client trust over the years. I've been doing this for quite some time. I've had a lot of difficult uh, clients, and sometimes it was my fault, and obviously sometimes it was just a frustration that they had, something went wrong in the process, and, but we have to be here to fix it, and when we do, we can truly make a difference, and that's so rewarding. That's how we find our purpose, and we're able to help people, even those difficult situations, we can turn it around and really build that client for life. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Share with a friend that might be able to use some of these encouraging words, whether you're in sales or customer service or anything that's client facing or customer facing. I know this will help build that trust with your clients and get you through some of those difficult moments with people. Thanks so much for watching.